Hi there, welcome back, Logic Pro 10.1 quick tip video and in this video we're going to be looking at a new feature when we're converting audio regions to sampler tracks we can now automatically create one shot zones when we're creating these sampler tracks so if we select an audio region here and this is going to be more useful for say individual hits or drum loops and creating one shot zones from these so if I load up this drum loop in here and uh, a feature of Logic that's there's been a feature of Logic for quite a while now we can right click on an audio region and convert to new sampler track and we previously you just had these options you didn't have this create one shot zones option here you had create zones from regions transient markers and so on and you'd create this new sampler track and then you'd have to go if you just wanted one shot zones from this sampler track you would have to go into your ESS 24 go into edit highlight all of these you can see one shots not checked there highlight all of these and go one shot and then you know the one shot rather than it being dependent on the length of the note when it's one shot it's just always one shot it's always going to play the length of that sample which is great for when you're slicing up drum hits or individual stabs or vocal stabs or something like that and but you've got that extra step to do that to create those one shot zones and what you can do now is if we delete that sampler track go back to this audio region like I've shown you before convert to new sampler track you can just check this box here create one shot zones this is a new feature this wasn't previously available um, on Logic Pro X so Logic Pro 10.1 this is another one of the new features and uh, yeah just check OK and so now if we check this sampler track go to edit you can see one shots checked for all of these hits which is great and it's just another one of those things it's uh, it's not a huge kind of feature of the new update but it's just a great workflow tool and you know it's just freeing up more time for you to just be creative you know it's just those extra little steps that once you're doing however many times in a session you know it's just going to add up and it's just giving you more time to be creative that's what it's all about. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. And we'll see you again soon. Cheers.